Hello guys, it's your boy, I see Boy Gamer here, back with another video, and I have a bunch of questions about Need for Speed Unbound, and I'm going to just go over some major questions that I have about this game. First off, starting with the easiest one to ask, which car is the fastest car? Now, 9 times out of 10, there's a heavy emphasis telling me that it's going to be the Bugatti Chiron. Now, since I know that they're going crazy with, like, customization, I wonder are they going to add, like, the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport? Per sport customization, as like customization obviously that would be pretty cool, but like it makes me wonder, like is the Bugatti Chiron gonna be the fastest car in the game? Is it gonna be like an unknown tuner car or like a crazy bug in the game that makes you go like three hundred miles an hour? Like who knows? Um. Next up, another question I have is, why are the achievements so easy in this game? Like they have to have some secret achievements. Because ain't no way. And Need for Speed Heat, they be having some of the hardest things you got to do. Now they got an achievement that says achieve 100 miles an hour. That makes no sense. And Heat, I was struggling to get three stars on every speed trap. And don't get me started on River Fever. Oh, try doing that in a Dodge Viper, bro. Like, in any other car that's higher than the Dodge Viper, okay. But try doing that in the Dodge Viper. I'm talking about with no ultimate upgrades, too. It's pretty challenging, and I barely made it in. Um, another thing. So, what are the starter cars? Because, you know, it has to be in the car list of the cars. So, what is the starter cars? That's one thing I'm wondering. And I wonder how they're going to look. Are they going to look bad or are they going to look like just super fire? And I hope they aren't like high tier starter cars. So that's one thing. Um, I know I forgot who said it, but I think it was either a YouTuber or like maybe there was a potential like a leak or something. That, but nobody knows if it's true. There might be turbo sound tuning. Do I believe that? I'm a 50-50. I'm not too sure. But if there's turbo sound tuning, that would be amazing. That could change everything. For sure, I would definitely add turbo spool sounds to every single car that I have. Because I don't like turbo flutter that much. It's cool, but it's kind of overrated. But, um... Let's see. What's some other questions that I have about Need for Speed Unbound? I mean, you could ask, like, what customization options are there. That's one thing. Like, would they do crossovers with, like, anime? Because, you know, it, since it's, like, like you would, you could say, like, an animated design that they could, like, have anime crossovers, anime car builds, and stuff like that. Um, But, yeah. One thing. Like, one thing I hope is that we do get more wheel options, and it seems like we are, and, like, a bunch of variations of wheels and stuff. So that's one thing I am excited about. Um, but another thing. Like, okay. Hold up. If we go back to that clip real quick. I know y'all probably wondering, like, which clip. The clip that I just played. If you saw that, the cop just hit that car and the car did not budge. So are we getting upgrades of, like, where... Like, you know, the car basically just doesn't get rammed over. Because that would help out so much. And stuff like that. Also, I hope the cars are a little bit tougher this time around. Because I know this one thing. The cars be super fragile at nighttime. Speaking of nighttime, will we have a day and night cycle? Now, I'm not really a big fan of the day and night cycle in Need for Speed Heat. Um, it kind of separates the game. Like, okay, I can go into night mid-game. But I'm basically stuck at night at mid-game. Like, that kind of confuses me. And I get it's because, you know, you're risking out at night. But it just makes no sense to me. And then they just eliminated fast travel, like, at all points. Another thing, garages. I know we will have garage customization because it is an achievement. But I hope that if we do have multiple garages, that we can actually be at those garages when we spawn. Because when we spawn, we always spawn back at the base garage. And that someone gets on my nerves because... I could want to go to another garage over there, but no, I have to exit from that garage, then spawn over there, and I had to go, like, then drive towards the place, because, you know, it's not going to be directly at the place, because you can't spawn directly at the place. 
So yeah, that's really about most of the questions I have on Need for Speed. Let me know what type of questions you have on Need for Speed. Comment down below. Otherwise than that, like and subscribe. Have a good day. Let's reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Iceable Gaming, out. Boom.